Crews in San Clemente racing against the clock to secure a sliding hillside before the rain arrives. Yeah, the landslide damaged a bridge and led to the disruption of train service. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos is live in San Clemente with more on what's happening there. Annie Rose, good morning. Megan and Chris, good morning to you both. And that is the main news coming out of this morning is that the hillside that we're standing on the other side of is still moving. It is still sliding. Now we know they brought in in the past couple of days boulders. They've brought in sand in order to help stabilize it. And they've also with weather on the way, as you mentioned, brought in those tarps to cover the hillside. But we spoke to residents last night. Our colleague Mary Beth McDade spoke to the residents who sit on the top of the cliff right at the top of the hillside. Here's what they have to say. This last one pretty much pushed up against the bridge. And then and that was like a couple of few weeks ago. Then like two, three days ago, it just kept moving and pushed the bridge right off its foundation and it shut down the railroads. As far as all the plastic right now, it's temporary, but temporary could be all, all winter until the rain stops. Last week, a landslide brought down part of a pedestrian bridge here on this hillside that then fell onto the train tracks, causing them to shut down all train service. Since then, they've been working to clear away the debris and reinforce the hill. And this morning, we have an update from the Orange County Transportation Authority, who says they've now been allowing freight trains to move back through this area very slowly, only at about 10 miles per hour overnight. And then an inspection is made after each freight, tra freight train passes. But this is an issue that has plagued the community of San Clemente the past few years. The eroding bluffs here, both on city and private property, have repeatedly forced the closure of the rail line and jeopardize the safety of those living here. What we see here in San Clemente uh, when we have the rain is that it, it soaks into the, the, the sand that's on our bluffs and we see movement days after uh, the rain. All right, you see there the sign Mariposa Bridge closed. That's the pedestrian bridge that fell onto the tracks last week during the landslide. That is going to be remain closed indefinitely. As far as the rail service, the train service, we know that those freight trains were allowed through between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. And again, that inspection happening after every single time a freight train grows, goes through. But as far as passenger trains, so we're talking Metrolink, Amtrak, those are still shut down and a timetable as far as one of those will resume is not available, so indefinitely shut down. All right, reporting live, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.